things come out of there. Are we on there? All right, welcome to another edition of Starter Girls at Large. And what are we talking about today, Amy? We are gonna talk about how to cheat without cheating. I like it, I like it. We're doing something else too, aren't we? Um, yeah, so we were gonna talk a little bit about our low carb cheats mm -hmm. specifically, and we are testing out some really, really good keto bars. And we have a visitor that may try to pop in this video. This could get fun in a minute. He's like over we here got a, right We now. got a little friend on the side over there that may try to come visit us. He'll have to come say hi to you. We'll see. Oh, so yeah, so if you caught our podcast on Tuesday, we met with Bracey Wright, correct? Yes. Former professional basketball player and coach. He works with high performance athletes. And on that particular podcast, we talked about what are our low carb cheats, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, yeah. Well, we said we were going to talk about it later on in the yeah, week. Yeah, <laughs> we were going to talk about it. And so we thought it would be fun to share with you what our low carb cheats are. Yeah. And here's the cool thing: they're not really cheats because they're good for you. Yeah. Right? They're like healthy. Exactly. But yeah. I mean, they're not celery though. They're not. No, <laughs> they're not celery. No, because we don't want celery. Celery's, Celery's good not... in food. Yes. In food. Yes. Right, but not to just, <laughs> not yeah, maybe it's a lot of ranch dressing. Yeah, or blue, for me, it's blue cheese. blue cheese. I'm a blue cheese girl. Okay. Yeah. Blue cheese, ranch, blue cheese, ranch. We got yes. it. I love it. We'll All right, everything. do you want to go first? Sure. So um, I would say one of my favorite cheats for low carb is Smart Sweets. Um, because I'm a big gummy person and they're like the only gummies you can have. They're kind of healthy. They have stevia and prebiotic fiber. And so, um, the, the carb count when you include the fiber and everything is actually really low. So I really love those. Where do you get those? I don't even know about those. You really don't? No. Oh, um, actually, I mean, I, you know, I shop at Kroger a lot, yeah, so they're they there, are? but yes, but okay. they also do have them now at uh, target. Believe it or Smart not, sweets. I have not seen them. They're in the in the in the candy. in the candy section. I guess I've been avoiding. But the you know, section. in my grocery list today, I ordered chocolate and Reese's peanut butter cups, sugar free. Oh, sugar free Reese's peanut butter cups and chocolate. That's so good. See, I like the fact that you can do all the sugar free stuff, but for whatever reason, like the the sucralose, yeah, it's not. It, it triggers me and it makes me want sugar really mm -hmm. bad. Where stevia doesn't seem to do that so much. So, yeah. so I do that, and then I also do stevia chocolate bars. I do Lily's. Um, I really like theirs. They have an extra dark chocolate with sea salt that it's really Yum. good, and it's kind of more like savory. Like if you're trying. I'm a bad, like, sweet junkie. So, like, if you're kind of like, you know, sugar anonymous, that girl, like, I like this because it kind of helps you whittle your way down and you like it, but it's not, like, it's not so sweet where it starts to make you have cravings again. Right. And then I would say, I know we did our ice cream challenge the other oh, day, but cream. Halo Top, I know you really like the other one, but you, uh, Halo Top for me, it's, it's That's my your bomb. Yeah, and I can literally just have, like, a couple, like, you know, teaspoons of it or whatever. And I'll be like, okay, I'm good. Like, you know, if I have like a little craving come up, so it yeah. works for me. That's but what awesome. about you? So my three cheats would be Quest bars. I like Quest bars. Oh, the cake bar. Oh my goodness. That's my favorite. The like the birthday cake. Yes. The birthday mm -hmm. cake and chocolate chip cookie dough. Those oh. are my two. So if I want, you know, like for sugar, for me, to, to me, those are like, like the birthday cake to me is like having cake. I mean, it's not going to yeah. be like, the, you know, like your best cake, but for me, that it works. It's really good. It works. And the chocolate mm -hmm. chip cookie dough is good because I get the chocolate that I want. Yes. So I like those. I would say also would be the, those chocolates and I don't have them with me. In fact, I ran out, ate my last one yesterday. <laughs> I've got more coming in today. I'm excited because yes. I love chocolate. But I would agree when we were talking about the sucralose, sucralose is an artificial sugar and yeah. it is not the best thing to take. Um, we were talking about this earlier that for somebody who is eating sugar, yes, it is a better alternative, but us being low carb, we know that it's not the best sugar to have. Yeah. But, with that, I always say, you know, if I'm not making my own chocolates to have on hand, I like those as backup because sure. they do work and it gets me that little bit of chocolate that I need <laughs> for the day. So I want to say, they're, are they Hershey's? I think they're little square bars. Yes, I that's what you Hershey's. always talk about is the Hershey's. I like uh -huh. those. And then my other thing would be, I, the ice cream would be one, but I was going to say Zevia sodas. I because, love Zevia. Yes, every once mm -hmm. in a while I want a soda, but I'm not going to go have, I mean, I really want a Dr. Pepper, I'll have one, but I'm probably not going to do that. So those are a great backup for me yes. because I get the fizz and I think I'm getting a soda yeah. and I love the cream soda. Oh, the cream soda. I know. Soda. I have that at my house right now too. It's interesting because I have a friend who's Korean and he talked about going to the Korean bakery and getting different like sweets. There's a I'm kind of like, we got to do the 
camera over there. The cat is cracking. You me want up. me to be your? Yes. Okay. We gotta move the camera and let them see. This cat is totally what. This is like an empty fish tank that we like need to get rid of, and this cat is totally watching us do this video right now. At one point, he was like putting his hand, and I'm like, I "There's know. no fish in there." He's but, like you know. mesmerized by Amy right now. <laughs> he's like Amy. we're friends. Yeah, he's like Amy and cat version, very social, and he has a sparkly collar. He's a male, but he has a sparkly collar. My daughter so came home from college and she's like, why does he have this sparkly collar? And we're like, he's living large. Like yes. he is a, his name is Garage Cat. He's a living large cat. Yes, he's actually really, really cute. You pick him up, he starts purring. He he's winks really at precious. you and like pets you and everything. He like, he's friendly. He, I know. He needs his own Instagram page. He does, he does. Garage Cat. Exactly. The social so, butterfly. So I digress, but I was gonna say about the, so like if you if you buy sweets like in Europe if you buy sweet like again like even go to the Korean grocery store and buy sweets they're way less sweet than we do in America and I think that's the hard thing when you go low carb or you go like low sweet if you will because then you do have like a normal Reese's or Dr Pepper and you're like whoa because yeah, really... your your taste buds mm -hmm. have changed and mm -hmm. also even your sugar response in your body has changed oh, yeah. so that's why you know, even if you want to have something sweet, you almost don't want to go back to what you used to go back to because it's like almost disgustingly sweet yeah. to you. So, and you don't feel good sometimes. Like I true. just don't feel good. You yeah. Know? Like I, I get stomach pain and it just isn't worth it to me to, yeah. I mean, I always talk about if I'm going to have something, I really want to cheat. It's going to be Andy's. It's going to be ice cream <laughs> custard. It's going to be one of those, but yeah. every time I eat it, it's good in the moment. It's just afterwards. I don't feel all that great. Yeah. And then I have terrible remorse. Like I feel guilty. <laughs> Eating. I'm like, oh, that was so good. Man, I shouldn't have had that. <laughs> the love hate relationship. Right. It is a love hate. I love I the know. Andes, but oh, yeah. So, so yeah. Yes. Go ahead. Tell I was going to say, so we were going to do like, we want to test drive like some, some healthy sweets, you know? And so we have these amazing bars. They're keto. Oh, they oh, are um, gluten-free. I know they're beautiful, Whoops, by the way. We're losing oh, them. That's okay. Here, I'll get that well, one for yeah. you. They're but, called yeah. Dang Bars. Dang! Dang are they bars. Dang good? And they, they are actually keto protein bars. And we wanted to try them out so we could give you guys kind of a... They look thumbs good. up or thumbs down. I know. And I don't know where they have them at. We f I found these at Sprouts when uh -huh. I was actually looking for Quest birthday cake bars. And and you found these. I so found these. I know I'm excited to try them. And I, we both have our water because they do. if you've they ever do. had a protein bar, yeah. you know, you need some auto with that. Exactly. So, so you want to go first? Um, sure. So which ones are we going to try? Let's try. Let's try. Okay. So this is toasted coconut. Yum. Yum. And it's so crazy. She cut these up and they almost look like mini versions of fudge. Like, yeah, have you ever done, like, you go to the state fair and they have fudge? Let's see it and see. Cheers. Probably don't even, we're going to be, like, so full from these. I it's know. like a whole bar over here. Very toasted coconutty. Mmm. It's coconutty. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It tastes like roasted coconut. It does. I see, like, some chia mm -hmm. seeds in there. They're very good. I would eat that. Mm-hmm. It's very nutty. Mm-hmm. Not super duper sweet. So it's sweet. got a... Okay, almonds, chicory root, which we know what chicory root is. There's a sunflower mm -hmm. seed right there. Cocoa butter, pea protein, sunflower seeds, pea protein crisp, toasted coconut, natural flavors, chia seeds, sunflower, and guess what? Stevia and vitamin E. Oh, good. So these are these are vegan too. Yeah, they're good. Vegan, vegetarian, mm -hmm. whatever you want. They're okay because they got uh, the pea protein. Yeah, they're pretty good. That's not bad. I could I could eat that. Yeah. Awesome. I haven't been eating a lot of nut stuff, so. Okay. Okay. All right. The next one I'm excited about because it really looks like fudge. Mm-hmm. Let's go for it. And this one is called chocolate sea salt. Oh, good. Like my bar. There's chocolate. Mmm. Mm. I still got coconut in my mouth, though. That is real, like. That was good. That's real, like it melts in your mouth mm -hmm. like fudge, actually. Mm-hmm. That is good. That's really it good. It is like chocolate. It is good. That might replace our chocolate. Mm hmm Wow. Wow. Look. <laughs> We're both like, wow. Chocolate sea salt. Get this one. We mm -hmm. like it. You get two thumbs up from both starter girls on that one. Yeah, we actually approve of that mm -hmm. one. These are good. I, almost yeah. like something I would make at home. Yeah, they remind me of like mm -hmm. a, a, a blend. Yeah. This tastes almost like the energy bars I make, the no-bake energy bars. That's really good. Mm -hmm. And I like the, the sea mm -hmm. salt in it. Okay, yeah. chocolate sea salt. That's so our this favorite. Next one. So the, so far in order, that's our favorite, followed by coconut. Um, imagine that Jennifer would want us to try peanut butter. Peanut butter, <laughs> yes. We're gonna try peanut butter. Jennifer, <laughs> like, Jennifer likes peanut butter. You like peanut butter and chocolate. Mm -hmm. It's like your thing. Oh, that's good too. It's peanut butter. 
It tastes like peanut butter fudge. Mm -hmm. It tastes like... Because it's like real savory. Mm-hmm. These are the best protein bars so far I've had. They really are. These are good. Well, and you know I love Quest bars, but mm -hmm. I'm sensitive to dairy. These might be better than Quest. I can't do the Quest. Okay, so which order do you like so far? I'm thinking right now, chocolate. This is my order, but the coconut's good too. So these might oh, be chocolate. Oh, chocolate first and then peanut butter second, but okay. that's okay. Do you like oh, yeah. Yeah, no, no, no. Are they equal for you or you like peanut no, butter? No, I like peanut butter. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's the order. Yeah, chocolate, peanut room. butter, and then mm -hmm. coconut. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm really excited about this one because it's chocolate cinnamon, and yeah. I haven't ever had chocolate cinnamon, but I like the idea of it. Like, it reminds me of, like, Mexican chocolate. Have you had, like, Mexican we hot did, chocolate? We did have that Mexican chocolate. Remember Tiffany Forsberg gave us oh. some? She was a she was a guest on one of our podcasts, The Stylist. She gave us Mexican chocolate. It was so good. It was, like, spicy chocolate. Mm-hmm. I was like, I need more of that in my life. It was so awesome. I'm like, put some cayenne in there. So this is the next bar. Cinnamon. Cinnamon chocolate. chocolate. Let's go for it. Dun, 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 dun. See if it's better than the other chocolate. I'm making a mess. All right. Kyle will look it up. She has it for Roomba, so it's all good. The rim, it doesn't work all the time, though. We're still here. So, mm. this is chocolate, but it's not near as, like, melt-in-your-mouth chocolate, mm. like. It's more cinnamony. That's good. Yeah. It's I, nice, kind of like I like it. I think I'd put it after the peanut butter, though. Me, too. I think it'd be right here for me. We agree again. I like it, but it's more, it tastes more cinnamony than it is chocolate to me, mm -hmm. doesn't it? And mm. it doesn't melt in your mouth. Yeah. That's good, though. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right, almond. What is it? This one is almond vanilla. Mm. I, I like the wrapper. It's blue. Yeah, I like the wrapper, too. It's really pretty. It makes it look yummy like candy, huh? I think it was like the first one you grabbed. Mm -hmm. Or maybe right. one of the green ones. I don't know why I like to grab green ones. Nilla, nilla. I got chocolate. It doesn't do anything for me. I got... This, ooh, let it keep going. It's good. We have cinnamon <laughs> still in our mouth, I think. It's good. It's more vanilla -y though, but I, so I would oh, say, see it at the it end? It has the vanilla yeah. finish, uh -huh. but a, it's not there at the beginning. Uh -uh. Well, we still had cinnamon, I think, maybe floating uh, in Let me mouth. try. I have one more bite. I think we might have still had some cinnamon floating in there. Mm. Yes. It's good. Where do you feel like this one ranks? I still think these are, these are here. I think it beats the cinnamon one. Okay. It's good. Do you agree with that? Yeah. I think so. Because it's a really interesting mm -hmm. vanilla. Mm hmm But I like it. Mm-hmm. What's got that almond in it? That's what it is. It's the almond. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. So Marie Emmerich makes this fudge, and she has you put almond extract in it. And I swear to you, the chocolate fudge makes it because of the almond, almond extract. extract. It's it, like yeah. a quarter you can of tell a teaspoon. It's in there. Yeah, you can tell That's what it is. It. It's the almond extract. That's what it is. It's good. I don't know if you right. like that. I would eat, like, a whole bakery just because of the All right, these extract. are good. Mm-hmm. All right, very last one we're going to look at is lemon matcha. It's I not, like everything about this. It's not just lemon. It's lemon matcha. It's lemon green tea. Yes, and I like green tea. I drink lots of green tea. Let's go for it. See I can't think. wait. Let's see. I actually, lemon bars are my favorite. Do you ever get the lemon? Are they Quest? Oh, mm -hmm. my God. It is good. Mm. It is good. That's going to be my favorite. That's like key lime pie. Uh-huh. That one's That's good. That's tasty. That one's my favorite. It reminds me of a lemon shortbread mm -hmm. cookie. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's my favorite. Really? And then the chocolate. I can't believe you're saying that. That is just good. It is like a lemon bar. Mm-hmm. It's tangy like a lemon bar. It's good. I would, I like it. Would yours be behind? It would actually be behind the chocolate sea salt and behind the peanut butter. Only because okay. those melt in your mouth. Mm -hmm. Like, they taste like fudge to me. Like, they're like, ooh. Okay, so what we will agree on <laughs> is that our three favorites. Our top three are <laughs> the peanut butter. Mm -hmm. We both like. They're all good. I think they're. You're not oh gonna, my gosh! You're not yeah. gonna go wrong with any of them. Mm -mm. The chocolate sea salt. This was Amy's favorite. It's my second. Peanut butter was um, my your your second. My third. Right. And then the lemon bar. The, the lemon matcha. My number one. Your number three. Yes. So you will not go wrong with any of them. I think they're all like for protein bars. These yeah, are like you good. would you wouldn't be sad if you ate uh -huh. any of them. Uh uh. They if do. you're more of a sweet person, I will say the toasted coconut's probably the sweetest. Yeah. So if you're looking for sweet out of a, a coconut bar, or like if you're trying to cheat without cheating, mm -hmm. maybe not this one as much. Yeah. But I know people that are savory. Like they don't care. Like uh -huh. remember we had Casey on our show and she's like, I'm not into sweet. So I was like, I don't even understand that. Like yeah. I wish my brain worked that way. Yeah, we like sweet. So mm -hmm. for us, this is good. If you want to cheat without cheating, there you go. It's right. so awesome. This was a fun thing to do on Friday. It was. It was. So um, I think we're done, aren't we? Yeah. So on behalf of Starter Girls and uh, 
garage cat sitting over there. Say bye, garage cat. Oh, and if you want, send good vibes my way because I accidentally got my finger stuck in the door the oh other day. Oh my gosh. Maybe <laughs> you want to add Amy before we round off here? I think I just did my dorky thing. All right. Also, oh, we do have to say one other thing. Tuesday, be sure you check out our podcast with Dr. Rebecca Good. It's going to be incredible, incredible. She is like super smart, incredible podcast. Yes. And we are in our new studio. Yeah, new it's location. so pretty. It's going to be awesome. So be sure you guys yeah. check it out. Anything you want to add? We have a technician. What's the right mm. word? We have a producer. We have a producer. Doesn't that sound official? We no. have a producer. Yeah, so I'm very excited about having a producer. But yeah, thanks for watching us. Thanks for following us on Star Girls at Large. Be sure to subscribe to our page. Yes, please. Subscribe to our page. All right. Give us reviews. We'll see you next time. <laughs>